Hello and welcome to another video on abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss a newly released feature in March 2025 release. We've got many features in March 2025 release. So let's have a look at the release notes. So these are the release notes for March 2025 Power BI March 2025 feature summary and if we go down we can see quite a few features have been released this month and the feature we are looking today is enhancement to the reference line a very small change but this is going to make a new thing possible which you were asking for long is basically you wanted to have color on your quadrants you want four different color quadrant on the scatter visual and you wanted background color not the color in the scatter shapes. In the past, in few videos, including the 20 hour full video, I have shown you how can you color the bubbles into different colors for different quadrants. But I have not shown you how to color the quadrants. But now with this small change, it is possible. So let's explore this change reference line enhancement. So let me click to enhancement to reference lines and if I go down you will see we are introducing new updates to improve feature priority for reference lines you can add shades area for all reference line types when the reference line position is set behind the shade area will also move behind the chart and this is really important because we would be needing this for line and stack column and line and stack column charts, we now support reference lines on y-axis, dynamic reference line, min, max, average, etc. are only available for line and cluster column charts. And when we reach to this feature, I'll tell you certain limitation on how we are going to overcome those limitations and draw those four quadrant and learn this feature. So let me jump onto the Power BI desktop. And on the Power BI desktop, I am using my common sales data model where I have the sales table joined with item, customer, date and geography and I have some common measures, net, gross, margin, discount and cox along with them some drive measures which is margin percentage and discount percentage which are important for today's discussion. So let me go back and add a new page to this file once i add this new page i'm going to add a scatter visual i will extend it to cover full page and here on the y axis i'm going to use margin percentage and x axis i'm going to use discount percentage and in the values i'm going to use it from geography and as you can see i got the scatter visual but there is one difference. If you look at the previous scatter visual, the discount is sorted in the reverse order. So I'll click here and I'll go to the x axis. I'll invert the scale. Now this is very similar. Now let's understand the four quadrant. The red quadrant is basically low margin and high discount. The orange quadrant is low margin and low discount means my margin is low but my discount is also low when i have high margin and still giving high discount that's manageable and that's where i am using this color which is very similar to blue color and the green color we give where we have high margin and low discounts so now we wanted to give these colors but let me try to add a line first of all on this visual to do so i would like to add the reference lines but what kind of reference line I'm going to add the constant reference line. Once you click on the visual, scroll down to the visualization properties and once you reach down to reference line, click on add line. Once you add the line, it will give you type options and here we are going to use x axis constant line. It will by default add it with zero value. We are going to go to the value, click on fx and here we can use the major. And on the x axis, I am having discount, so I am going to use discount percentage. Click on OK. Now you can see there is a line in the middle. Now, if I scroll down, I will get the new property shaded area. Switch it on. The shaded area can be before or after note for both the sides. So, how do I get the color both the sides? 
one we have to get the color both the side second is i am not going to get all those four colors i need to create these four colors so basically these four colors are nothing but the combination of red yellow blue colors let's understand this here i'm going to do the red color on the x axis and here i'm going to do the yellow color then below again i'm going to do a red color and above i'm going to do the blue color so in this manner i will be able to create all the four colors but right now we are able to do only one color so now we would like to set up the colors and to do so what i have done is i have already saved the color which i need for x axis before and after y axis before and after so for, for x axis before i need this particular color with 45% transparency i'll go to the color more color put this color code and put transparency equals to 45% i got the 45% transparency i'll explain you why you need this transparency and as you can see now the dot or the circles are behind the shaded area and for that we have to move the position of the line behind and now you can see they are above now we can only do color before or after we can't do on both the sides then how do i achieve the second part for that what i'm going to do is i'm again going to add one more line x axis constant line and now i got the two lines and for those two lines i want the same thing i want the discount percentage to be the value on the same place you have drawn two line now one is before and we will add the shaded area for after and the after shaded area color is going to be the yellow color with 10% transparency so color more color and transparency is 10% actually i have experimented a little and then i found out what are the best color and again it's going to be behind now we are done with the x axis we got the two colors now we are going to go to the y axis and add reference line the first line is going to be the y axis constant line and on y axis what major we have we have margin so in the line value we are going to use fx margin percentage okay we got the line we also want is behind shaded area on before color means below so before is the red color because i want red and red to overlap the red and the color which is very similar to red to overlap and you can see we got the red color and the yellow turned into the orange and the transparency we want is 25% and you can change transparency as per need now again we have to repeat this process plus line y axis constant line margin percentage as a major margin percentage as a line value we want it after is it will go up and the color would be blue color version of blue okay and the transparency is going to be 45% so we got all the lines so now we got very similar chart to what we have but there are few differences and i am going to cover those differences we are already using two majors discount percentage and margin percentage and we got our quadrants the best quadrant is the green one high margin low discount and the worst quadrant is the red quadrant low margin and high discount now we can use two more majors which is going to tell us two different things now because we have made our scatter visual background colored the scatter bubble circle or dot do not need to color based on the quadrant we can now color this based on a major also we can change the size of the bubble or the circle based on another major so we can use two more majors for different purpose now what i can do here is i can move cogs as my size of the bubble and once i make it it will be little bigger so what you have to do is margin typically when you give the major in my case in my with my data minus 25 to minus 30 is a best option so now i got my bubbles which are little smaller now these bubbles or the circles i would now like to go ahead and give the color and for to color this i am going to use this color fx 
means conditional formatting gradient is fine with me and I am going to do this gradient on net major and lowest I am going to keep white and highest I can keep black or I can keep any of the color which is not appearing in this blue is also appearing so let's keep it black click on ok and you can see all those things. Now you might be seeing my bubbles or my circles are still almost of the same size compared to what we have seen in the other one. For that we need to do a change which is range scaling equals to data range. And once you do that, so if you see we are now able to reproduce a very similar chart what we have there. In this manner you can now create colored quadrant in better visual instead of coloring the bubbles or the dots or circles so why don't you go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this particular video keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you